Morning adventurers, welcome back. And welcome to Shrewsbury in Shropshire. For the foreign viewers amongst you, that's in England, just northwest of Birmingham. And it's a market town. It's a beautiful place. Um, I'm led to believe, I've got to be honest, I've only ever passed through once and I've never really explored. So apologies if I miss the best bit of Shrewsbury. Let me know in the comments so that other people uh, get to go find out and see it when they go. Uh, so what have we got here? It's, um, it retains much of its medieval layout of the, the roads and has over 600 listed buildings with a, quite a number of them dating back to the 15th and 16th century half timber. So it's supposed to be very pretty. Uh, it's got a castle, it's got an abbey, and it's on a loop in the River Severn. And so I thought that might be the nicest way to explore it in traditional run adventurer fashion. You know, we explore everywhere at a trot. So I might get a perspective of it by heading up the river. Um, yeah, so uh, that's the plan today. It's not too far today. Uh, I was out with a chest infection and then I guess my calf muscles must have tightened up because then when I started running again I got a tight Achilles so uh, it's lovely to be out running but uh, I'm just going to be sensible so it's not too far today. Anyway I've parked on the outskirts of town and we're gonna jog in. Come on follow me it'll be fun. And we're off, starting from Ditherington Flax Mill. So details of where I parked and a map of today's route will be up on my website, so do go check it out. The uh, Flax Mill, I believe it's the world's first iron frame building, dating back to 1797, when they processed flax here for many years. We're going to head down the old Shrewsbury Canal now. There's no canal left anymore. It's all been filled in. Welcome back to all the regular followers. Hope you love this. If you're new, welcome. Hi, I'm Simon. I create these lovely time-lapse videos of my runs set to lovely music. So if you'd like to explore the beautiful English countryside, follow along, click subscribe. And if you'd like to get early access to the content and uh, more exclusive content, go check out my Patreon page. To our left here is Shrewsbury Prison, which was closed in 2013. And you can now take a tour of the empty cells and yard. I'll put some details in the description. This is Darna Walk. We're just heading over the train station. Ahead you can see the castle. And if you look to the right, you can see Butter Market, which marked the terminus of the canal. And so there was a market here uh, selling all the produce that would be brought into the town. Now it's a nightclub, I think. To our left here is the entrance to the castle, which dates back to 1067. You might want to give it a visit. I'll put some details in the description. And what's this? A statue to Charles Darwin. That's because uh, Charles Darwin, the famous naturalist, was born in Shrewsbury. We'll pass the house where he was brought up later on in the route.
This is Mardol, one of the oldest streets in Shrewsbury. Lots of old half timber frame buildings. And at the bottom on the right, there's a really nice looking pub, the King's Head. Though more my scene is just round the corner to the left. Yes, there's a Weatherspoons, the Shrewsbury Hotel. This is Mardell Quay and this is Welsh Bridge over the River Severn. The bridge dates from 1793 and replaced an earlier medieval bridge, St George's Bridge. We're going to cross now over into Frankwell and down the side of the River Severn. And so we've left the hustle and bustle of town behind and now we've got the peace and quiet beside the river. It's lovely here. This is Frankwell and uh, the name comes from the Norman meaning free settlement and it was a trading area so it was outside the town walls and there were quays here. I can imagine it was a busy place. Slight detour here. Billy Badger's been busy digging up the path. So we're going to head down this street here and then back up the next one to get around the section where the badgers have been busy. This is Doctor's Field. We're going to turn away from the river for a moment and uh, up above on the road is the Mount where Darwin was brought up. We're going to head across uh, the spit of land and head back towards Shrewsbury again along the river.
This is Port Hill Suspension Bridge. You could cross here, but I decided to stay on this side. Turning away from the river now, just a short section on the road heading for English Bridge and the Abbey. So this is English Bridge, you could turn left here and back into the town. Or you could take a right and you can see just down there is Shrewsbury Abbey, founded in 1083. Much of it was destroyed in the 16th century, though the nave does survive. Might be worth a little visit. We're going to head straight on though, through Abbey Gardens. final river crossing of today and then we're going to pick up a path marked Ditherington which will take us back the way we came in.
Okay, all done. That was a lot of fun. Uh, five and a half miles. Very pretty place. Worth coming for a visit. I've got to be honest, <laughs> the uh, I could have easily got lost there in places on the river. It, <laughs> you know, it's like one bit looks like another bit. So I was glad I had it mapped out. So if you do come, make sure you do visit the website and download the GPX file so you can't possibly get lost. Okay, I'm off home and I'll see you all next week. See you folks.